How has the last three or four minutes at West Brom been addressed since then and the, the mistakes that led to the penalty that ultimately led to what perhaps should have been a point or better being none? Yeah. No, look, I think it, it, it's very hard after, straight after games, you know, the, that initial period straight after that initial evening or wherever it may be is when it's still raw emotionally is, is the frustration from it. Um, so what's important is, is to analyse the games in a, with a clear mind, and you know, in the days afterwards, and, and to understand what where you're at as a performance, and and where you're at in terms of what you need to get right, and um, and it's going through with players with that. But I've, especially the last four games, that's where the frustrations come from. But if you actually look at, as I said, with a clear head, and you analyse those games, if you think of Leeds, Blackburn, probably to a lesser extent in Blackburn, but still. In terms of the situation we're in, but definitely in, in the in the Leeds, the Swansea game, and even the West Brom game, the performance levels are actually very, very good. You know, the amount of um, things that we did right in those games was exactly what you need to do to win games, and and we know ourselves we should have won those games, or we should have taken for sure more points. Um, but it's those little details, the few individual mistakes that have proved very costly. I think the difference is we seem to be in a moment where. You know, you look at the difference on on the game at West Brom. We dispossess El Ghazi on the edge of his box. We're ten yards out. Either we don't punish them, or they don't get punished. You know, it goes the other end. We make the one mistake, and we get punished. So it's kind of like that's where it feels. But of course, we know we need to cut out those individual errors. You know, errors. Sorry, and, and we know that we need to be more clinical. It's as simple as that. But I think overall, those performances, when you look at Leeds, Swansea, and, and West Brom, especially the overall performance, when you analyse it properly, it was actually a very, very good performance. And that's what we have to keep maintaining and make sure that we we mop up those mistakes and but I'm sure we will you know does it suggest then that they are a little mentally fragile I suppose that they hit that panic button because it th this theme is is developing isn't no, it until the clean sheet comes no because when you when you if, again if you analyze it properly it's nothing structural so it's not panicking and everyone's all over the place I think it's just that individual mistake in that moment you know that's when I look at all the the goals in these last four games conceded, you know, a couple of mistakes from from Kieran, you know, a mistake on the weekend from Liam, where we, it's just, a, you know, you go and deal with that header um, rather than appealing for the offside. It's just that individual mistake. It's not nothing to do with panic. Structurally, they're in a good positions. Um, yes, yeah, so that side of it is, is really, really good. It's fine. It's just that individual mistake or, or lapse in concentration in that moment. And unfortunately, they've got heavily, heavily punished. So, um, and even when you look at the Blackburn game, so um, it's unfortunate. But of course, we know the demand is to that can't happen. You know that can't continue to happen. But I also believe that it's not going to continue to happen. You know, it's it's been very unfortunate. Um, but when the overall performance has been there, we've done more than enough and performed more than well enough. I've actually been very, very pleased with the performances. If you look at those, especially those three games, the Leeds, the Swansea, and and West Brom, the performance was very, very good, you know, and... Doesn't that add to the frustration, though? Yeah, of course it does, but that also, you turn that frustration into more determination, you know, you'll see that determination on Wednesday night, without a doubt. I've got no f doubt about that when I've seen the, you know, the players in training this week, how they've gone about it. Um, yeah, I see that frustration, and that's the key, you turn frustration. We're going to have frustrating moments. We're in the moment right now, but we know that we can turn that into that determination and make it a positive for ourselves. So um, that's what we're determined to do. I'm sure you'll see that on Wednesday and our fans will be able to, to see that.